Hey everyone, it's Katrina Sawa here. I'm so excited to see you on this uh, Facebook Live on, uh, what day is it? Gosh, we're getting close to Halloween. And let me just adjust this camera. Okay, I have this little tripod. I know that in the past, I've always held my phone with me um, here. <laughs> I bought a new tripod and it's not here yet. Oh my goodness, I'm so frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do this um, holding it up, but I bought a new tripod, and so next time you see me, I am going to hopefully have this tripod thing working. Um, the one I have right now is just too tight. It just keeps snapping my phone out. So today we want to talk all about podcasting, though, and uh, what I want to, I don't know whether to do horizontal, I think I'm going to go vertical, sorry. Um, rotate your device. Okay, can turn it while you're live. Uh, okay, so we're going to talk about podcasting, uh, radio shows, telesummits today. I want to hear from you. Um, if you have some, please put the links to your shows in the, in the comments. Um, if you don't and want to get booked on some, put your name and your uh, topics of things that you speak on in the comments, okay? So people that are watching can see that maybe you might be a potential guest uh, for them. And so uh, I want to, I want you all to network, okay? So that's one goal of today's show is I want you all to network with each other on what your show is about, if you have one, or, or what you speak on. Hey, Erin. Hi. Nice to see you here. And uh, so then um, in the comments or in the post uh, um, notes up above, I told you about my podcast. Um, I've been delaying it all year long. Trust me, there's just been too many other projects going on. Uh, and so, but I'm finally got it on my calendar. I actually plotted out uh, today, uh, this morning, uh, the rest of my year. I'm so bad. I, so I did like this little, I have this little calendar thing that I use at my events and I plotted out what I'm focusing on every week for the next year. Because one thing, uh, I, I'm not always good about planning ahead myself, uh, to, to full disclosure here. Um, but I teach clients to be, right? So I got to take my own, um, I got to take my own medicine and get the planning and otherwise things just don't get done in a timely manner. And Believe me, I have a team right now, and uh, they're amazing, but if I don't tell them to do certain things or, or give them deadlines, then stuff's still not going to get to done, right? So, <laughs> all right, so I want to know your questions, though, about how to get booked on podcasts, radio shows, and telesummits. I want to talk a little bit about some, some key things I do to get on more shows as well. And um, that's what we're here to talk about today on Facebook Live. And uh, if you want more information, obviously go to my website at jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And I put a, a link up, a couple links up in the post as well. Um, I was talking about my podcast. It's called Love and Money Live Podcast. And uh, I do a Love and Money Live event every year as well. So it's going to be really fun. Because one of the main things I like to talk about is how to get more love in your life and money in your business. And because I think you need both. I need, you need both. So I'm looking for people who speak on the love side, which could be, um, love for yourself, love and self care, love for what you're doing, love in your purpose, love in your relationships, uh, love your life, anything to do with love in that regard. Um, it can be deep dive as far as um, relationships go. Sometimes I talk about online dating, right? My story with uh, meeting Jason on eHarmony. And uh, so, and I spoke with somebody yesterday uh, that I met in Canada on a trip, and she talks about sex and intimacy. So, ooh, we might have some racy episodes um, because I, I'm meeting some really cool people in the love space. And then on the money side, uh, it's all about anything to do with making more money. So it could be strategies on how to market or build your business. Um, hey, Felicia, nice to see you. I haven't seen you in ages. <laughs> um, but it could be on... Um, investing money, it could be saving money, it could be money mindset. So it could be anything to do with money uh, that 
the, uh, we all need more money, right? It could be um, giving money, donating money, philanthropy, any of that kind of stuff. So I just want to make sure that you know uh, what I'm doing. But please, again, like I said in the beginning of this, make sure you comment below if you have uh, your own podcast, radio show, or tell us something coming up with the topic, the website, if you have one, um, what kind of guests you're looking for, and that kind of thing. And I will um, make sure, well, I want you to connect. I want you to connect in in this post. So I'm just having to watch the screen, too, because I know people are trying to get on. Okay, so so how to get booked on these things. Uh, let me tell you, there are a gazillion podcasts and radio shows, internet radio shows out there these days. And uh, we're not talking about traditional media here today, but I do that as well. And I get on lots of media. If you go to my website, you'll see there's a media page underneath my um, underneath my speaking page. It's a drop down into media, right? And you'll see all the different interviews, not all of them probably, but a lot of the different interviews that I've done on TV or radio or internet radio or podcasting and things like that. And First of all, what you can do is you can go to that page and see, oh, those people booked Katrina. Maybe they'll book me, right? So you go find those people, okay? You can do that on a lot of different people's websites, first of all. If you're following other people that get on a lot of podcasts and radio shows, you can go to their websites, and I'll bet you they have a lot of cool um, uh, proof, so to speak, and recordings. If they don't, then that's crazy. I think it's great for search engine optimization to put that kind of stuff on your website. It's also good for social sharing, right? I'm constantly promoting these other hosts that have had me on. And uh, it's also good for my own publicity and expert status, right? So people can see that I'm a sought after speaker. Um, so there's lots of reasons to put that stuff on your website and get more publicity and get more um uh, shows and stuff like that. So I don't see that you're commenting, you guys. I know I want you to comment in here and say what you're doing and what you're speaking on and what topics that you speak on. So make sure you put some stuff in the comment. Tell me that you're here. I see some people here, but they're not commenting. So please tell me so I know who's there. That'd be great. And if you're watching this recording, you know, still do it because lots of hundreds of people watch these recordings uh, afterwards and they peruse the notes and comments and things, especially on this one. I would imagine if you're looking for speaking gigs, uh, you're going to peruse the comments to see if anybody's actually looking to book people right now. So I would comment, highly comment. Um, don't just like it. So I, uh, okay, so getting on the couple of the main places that I go to get booked. Well, I, well, I go to a lot of live events, okay? And I meet radio show hosts and podcast hosts at these live events uh, oftentimes. So in lieu of doing that, though, there's so much you can do online. Uh, there's a couple websites out there that you can look for uh, shows to be on. The easiest thing to get on is a podcast or an internet radio show. Number one, hands down, the easiest thing. Because they don't usually, and I've only run across maybe one or two, but they don't usually require you to have a large email list, right? Because they're not expecting you to necessarily promote the show. A lot of times they do, uh, especially with the radio, not necessarily the podcasters, but um, a lot of them will, will expect their guests to promote their show, which is great. You should always do that anyways because it shows that you're on shows and, and so it's good for your own credibility. But it's also good to share. It's like a give back, right? If someone's going to book you as a guest, you should share their show with them and share them share their show with your people. Um, so it's a win-win. Uh, but they don't usually require a certain number of email, uh, having an email list really big. So if you're newer in business, this is a great thing to do to get you, to get your story heard, to practice your talk and your answers to questions and how you talk about yourself and your business. And also, um, uh, to get exposure and then take those recordings and show more proof on your website of how amazing you are, right? So you definitely want to go get booked. Don't, you know, don't collect $200. Don't pass go without doing this. This is the, a free marketing strategy, people. You cannot not do this. Seriously, it's silly. You'd be silly not to do this strategy because it's free, and you can get huge exposure and possibly clients. Now, I don't typically get a lot of paying clients immediately from a podcast or a radio show episode. However, I've had a lot of recent um, flow of clients and customers come through from shows that I've done 
in the past. So people do rewatch episodes and re-listen to things. So you never know which show is going to boost your email list or boost your revenue. So you kind of want to do them all. I mean, they don't take a lot of time and effort to be on a radio show or a podcast. Telesummits are a little different, however, uh, because telesummits, uh, those are people who are doing a, a marketing strategy, a business model in their business. And a telesummit is where you get like 20 to 30 or maybe even more experts and celebrities or whatnot on your um series of episodes. And so a telesummit, <clears throat> usually those hosts are doing it for list building for their own business. And that's the only reason they're doing it. Uh, so like they're starting out or in the first couple of years of their business. And usually with a telesummit, you can get one to 3000 people added to your email list when you're hosting the telesummit, not necessarily as a guest. I think the most I've ever gotten from a telesummit or a gift giveaway promotion thing with multiple people on it is about 450 people. That's about the most that I've ever gotten or be, been able to track um, as far as building my list goes from one appearance or one participation. <clears throat> the Most of the time I don't get that many. Um, that's just my experience. Now there's other people in this planet that uh, are on some maybe some bigger shows and maybe they're getting thousands of people. I don't know. But that's my experience. So if you're newer, I wouldn't expect thousands or hundreds necessarily, but if you get a few really good key people that might, and you have a good funnel on your website, then you might be able to really get them into your sales process, okay? So, but you wanna give juicy content and have a good free giveaway and a landing page to get people on your list. So telesummits though usually require five, I've seen now up to 8,000 people as a requirement to participate on your email list. So if you don't have that, then you usually can't participate. However, I still encourage my clients, I, I encourage you to ask anyway. A lot of times if you have a really compelling story or if they have an agenda of certain talk, like titles and topics and things that they're um, putting on their telesummit with certain people, but they're missing something that would be perfect for their theme, and you speak on that, then they might be willing to add you regardless of how many people on your email list if you're hungry and willing to like promote the heck out of them on social media or everywhere you possibly can. So um, a lot of people are willing to do that, just you have to ask. So don't just turn off because you aren't don't have the numbers, okay? Um, and so how to get on the telesummits, I mean, you kind of just have to watch for those. And um, when you see people hosting a telesummit, you want to build, you want to start building a list of prospects who do that. Because normally if they do it once, they do it twice and or three times. So they do it every year or twice a year. So you want to get on their radar. You want to message them uh, all over social media. You want to email them and, and get on their email list and stuff. So that's what I recommend for telesummits. You just have kind of have to pay attention. Uh, and take advantage of opportunities when they fall in your lap. For radio shows and podcasts, there's a bunch of websites out there. You just go and you send messages to the host and say, hey, I see you bringing guests on your show. I'd love to be considered a guest, right? And, uh, and, and find out their format. Don't push your format on me. When I was doing a radio show on Blog Talk Radio about, I don't know, four years ago, uh, people would always send me pitches. They'd say, oh, this is my book and this is what I talk about. Would you, I want to be on your show as a guest. And I'm like, well, that's great. But did you read the fact that I have a show format? And these are the questions that I ask. And I'm not going to necessarily just let you talk for 20 minutes on my show. So I hated it when someone just assumed they could come on and do a signature talk or a whatever. A radio show and a podcast is not a place to do your talk. It's a place to interact and have a conversation with the host. And you have to follow their formats. So they might have certain questions they ask. They might not. They might want you to give them questions. But you need to find that out before you assume you can do something. So don't be pushy in that way, but go and find out and ask. Just ask questions. Seriously, it's the easiest way. So seriously, people, no one's commenting about what you guys are doing and... <laughs> <laughs> if you need, if you're booking your guests, okay. So this is obviously going to go uh, more viral. I'll share it also on my blog and YouTube. Um, 
Oh, and the, the websites that you can go to are blogtalkradio.com, for one, blogtalkradio.com. Um, they have all kinds of podcasts there now. You don't have to just um, be on our internet radio show. They have, look for networks. Go do a search for um, podcast network or radio show network. Uh, Internet Radio Network on Google, and you'll find a bunch. You'll find TogiNet, you'll find eWoman Network uh, Radio, you'll find, um, there's a whole bunch of women ones too. Oh, I must not be able to see it. Oh, thank you, Erin, for telling me. I'm like, okay, what? <laughs> oh, my phone, the way I have it. Let's see. Um, let me pause for just a second as you're posting. Oh, there, I see it. You're commenting. Okay, good. David's here. Okay. I can't see it on my phone this way, you guys. Oh, my God. I'm so a dork. I'm such a dork. David Milton, Carol Pilkington, good to see you. Uh, awesome. Okay, great. Thank you, Erin. And uh, the other websites would be uh, go look for podcast directories. So uh, directories like uh, Podbeam and, of course, iTunes, right? You can do searches for shows on these sites and again, message the host. You never know. Go look at the page, but do it quickly because these, again, you want to message like 10 or 20 of these a week, not one or two, okay? So you just want to copy, paste, send, copy, paste, send the message back and forth, and you don't have to get too detailed until they respond back to you, uh, and then when they respond back, then you can negotiate what you want to tell them and all, what you need to give them, Okay. So I hope that's helpful, you guys. Does anybody have any questions? Let me um, let me look at the the screen here to see if there's any questions. Um, I am such a dork with these. You know, it's better to do it and do it dirty than to not do it at all. Is well, I have to say. Okay, um, let's see. We're coming Facebook delay up to three minutes. Oh goody! I talk about government contracting. I speak it. So no questions. I don't see any questions. Um, let me see. So if there are questions, I'm probably just going to end this. If there are questions, what I'll do is I will comment in the comments and answer you guys because I don't see a lot of questions that I can see um, right now. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, and I'm looking forward to my event next week. And I'm prepping all the content right now, getting it to the printers by the weekend. And uh, I know some of you are coming, yay. And I would really love to have a conversation with you. Make sure you either go get my book or you go take that quiz up in the top, uh, the jumpstartyourbizquiz.com. Uh, jumpstartyourbizquiz.com. Go there if you haven't done it yet. It's really a cool quiz to see if, um, if, uh, if you have everything in place for your business, because most people don't. And Erin, I know you asked a question, uh, so, can I give an example of what to say in the message? And I think I did. I think I said, okay, so something like, um, hey, I see you bringing guests to your show. It looks like a fun format. And I think I would have a lot to add to your, um, your topics and things that you speak on, your theme for the show. Uh, how do you choose your guests and what's your format? I'd love to be considered. There you go. Plain and simple, down and dirty, copy, paste, send to tens and thousands of them, as many as you possibly can. Just get your get booked solid and go. And your market set, go, people. <laughs> All right. Have a great day, everyone. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.